Okay, this is a Juliet Golf 1 X-Ray Mic Victor. A quick rundown of my setup for uh, the activation of a uh, Soda Summit Juliet Alpha Stroke November India uh, 059er uh, Atemayama. Uh, the altitude is uh, 1000. 16 meters and uh, it was uh, an activation made with a FT817 the usual usual rig for most people with a Electraft 20 watt ATU tuner very handy especially with the remote control cable to the FT817 and then uh, I'm using a vertical antenna and uh, I basically strapped it to a <laughs> to a pole and uh, this this uh, vertical is uh, made up of uh, just uh, rigid body pole components so normally you would screw this on a tripod so here the cable is coming down and then this little guy here so I just use a little bit of rope to latch it on and another bit of rope here it's actually supposed to be guy line to, uh, to hold the antenna steady and here I have a little coil and this is a this is a shock cord whip that's the that's the longest one it almost touches the tree and this one has uh, six elements I haven't even stretched it out so and uh, I'm running 5 watt into this and uh, power wise and uh, I'm basically uh, using a foldable solar panel. It's a power film. Uh, puts out 60 watts. Uh, obviously, today I'm a, It's a bit of a dense forest, and towards the end of the day, the sun is uh, coming through the the canopy. So it's not obviously not putting out the full full power. But uh, and then. Between the solar panel and the rig, I have a I have a charge controller here. It's a Sun Saver 10. Oh, there's a big bumblebee here. Sun Saver 10, and uh, here it's hooked up to the solar panel. And here I have a, a buffer battery, which uh, which is just a, a small. 1.2 amp buffer battery uh, nothing special about it it's a sealed type battery 1.2 amp hour so it's just acting as as a buffer and then the, and then uh, the power is going out via this lead to the to the FT817 and uh, the charge controller is making sure there's no no silly surge going into the rig and that's that's pretty much it I'm typically running 5 watts and uh, that was plenty enough today uh, I focused on 15 meters and worked a few Japanese stations and I had a flurry of uh, Australian stations including uh, another QRP station so we had a QRP to QRP station between Australia and uh, Japan, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. So uh, uh, that was really well done. And that was uh, Matt uh, VK3 Fox Oscar Romeo Delta. It was really a pleasure working him. Obviously, we had to be patient, but that was a that was a lot of fun. It's always nice uh, when. Uh, throughout the day you you always come up with some unusual QSOs and then I think 
I got spotted afterwards probably thanks to Matt and managed to have a, a few QSOs and here I have my handheld which is a radio I have a from here I can I can connect into my D star hotspot which is probably 10 or 15 kilometers away but from that mountain top I, I have a signal which is pretty handy and uh, I also brought along my tablet which can help you out to spot uh, spot yourself if necessary or let people where you are but uh, with uh, D star and APRS.fi people can can see live where you are as I was sending my GPS tracks but anyway that's uh, pretty much it I also have some uh, some earphones here if it's a really really low signal and I'm having a, a, a bit of trouble copying if it's a bit noisy outside then uh, sometimes I, I put on the, the earphones it actually saves power when the, when the output goes through the earphones in, instead of going through the, the speaker of the rig so but anyway that's that's pretty much it so now I gotta pack up clean up everything make sure I leave the place the way I found it and uh, it's gonna be time to log and uh, share how much fun today was with all my friends anyway this is a uh, Juliet Golf 1 X-ray Mike Victor Arno and it was a good day out it was uh, good fun hopefully do it again tomorrow maybe and 73 from uh, Niigata Prefecture, Japan. Sayonara, bye bye.